What's up, YouTube? This is going to be the first video of this build. Uh, now that it's 2022, one of my focuses is going to be to uh, mod the dad bod. Uh, it's getting harder to stay in shape. Um, turning 46 this year, and with me working from home, I'm um, going to have to work a little bit harder to uh, stay active. So <clears throat> I read the reviews on this bike. They were mixed. People hate it. People love it. For me, I wasn't about to go spend several thousand dollars uh, on a mountain bike just yet. Um, I always wanted a fat tire bike. And for the kind of riding I'm going to do for now, this will be just fine. Because you can upgrade it with some simple parts and still keep it affordable. So that's, uh, yeah, that's that's my goal and that's what I'm going to do. So uh, one of the first upgrades I did was I replaced the factory pedals. They're a plastic uh, with these. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. They're aluminum with cartridge bearings, so they do spin, uh, you know, definitely they spin free, uh, whereas the other ones did not. Um, they're kind of tight out of the box, but once you put them on and start to use them, they'll definitely loosen up and they spin, they spin freely, so um, it's a nice smooth operation. Definitely an upgrade from what I had before um, with the removable spikes, if you wish. Um, I'm going to leave them on there because I have a wide foot and, um, you know, uh, when I get this thing out on the trail, I don't want my foot slipping off because that sucks. Um, easy install, five minutes. Um, they use a hex bolt in the back, whereas the factory used a 15 millimeter, you know, use a 15 millimeter open end to take them off the crank. These you install from the rear and you can stabilize it with a two and a half inch hex there. Um, again, really easy install for basic tools. Uh, the next thing I did was I replaced the spacer set um, from the factory. Um, the spacers that were there uh, provided a pretty good feel, but with me not being able to adjust the height of the handlebars traditionally, um, by just simply loosening the bolt and lifting them up, uh, the threadless design doesn't allow for that. So you have to use spacers to get the height you want. And um, the spacers that I ordered on Amazon, there were seven or eight bucks. That link will be in the description below as well. Um, it allowed different configurations to get where you want. Uh, this is where I ended up with the feel that I wanted, and it did not require me to change the bolt on the top. It still worked out, so win-win uh, for me. Um, yeah, so those are another easy install. You know, you just have to loosen the, the bolts on the stem, uh, loosen the bolt here, uh, handlebar slide out. You slide in or slide on the uh, the spacers you want on the neck and then you know reverse the you know reverse the steps you did to un uninstall to put them back on there uh, sorry I didn't film that it didn't really occur to me until this morning so um, yeah for the most part the bike rides good um, obviously it's gonna change the perception when I get out there on the on some of the trails and, and then I'll, I'll, I'll definitely give a review of what I feel out there but I mean for what I'm going to use it for, I think it'll do just fine. Uh, other upgrades are going to include a new seat, new handlebars, new stem, um, and then see how that feels. And then as I progress, I might, uh, you know, go with, uh, I know people have been changing the rear, the rear hub to the, uh, to other Shimano, uh, other Shimano options that uh, are out there. I might upgrade that, um, this being a free wheel, um, pretty easy to swap those out. Uh, again, I'm just going to kind of go little by little as I feel I need to upgrade. Um, definitely going to upgrade the shifter from a twist to a trigger. And the brake levers are definitely going to be replaced with the bodies being plastic. Um, if I were to take a pretty good fall or hit something pretty hard, like a tree branch or something, or if the bike should fall, you're definitely going to break them. They're not real strong. They feel kind of mushy. So those are going to be upgraded probably to like an aluminum, you know, set. Um, you know, I know people also talk about upgrading the brakes. So I, again, I got to do some more research and, and I'm going to ride the bike some more and kind of feel where I need, where I need upgrades and, and kind of see where those upgrade dollars are going to go to get best bang for my buck. So yeah, not much going on yet, but, uh, subscribe and I'm definitely going to be doing some more reviews on some of these upgrades. Um, I'll definitely try to set up a tripod to do the the install step by step because um, that definitely helps when you're kind of do upgrades on your bike. Uh, not real hard to work on but if you 
have somebody kind of show you the steps, definitely easier. So I'll try to do that. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll get to them. Appreciate uh, everybody stopping by. Have a happy new year. Stay safe out there and we'll see you soon. Thanks.